Whoa, whoa, just doing my JLo routine. <laughs> Look, whether you like the Super Bowl performance or not, we can all agree that JLo is doing pretty well for the age of 50. And the truth is you don't need a personal chef or a personal trainer to feel confident and feel sexy. So let's dive into JLo's routine right now. Coach Hunter here and I did a deep dive into JLo's Instagram and some of what her personal trainers have said she does and I wanted to bring that to you to give you her exact routine when it comes to fitness and nutrition. So here are nine principles that you want to follow if you want to feel amazing over 50 and look you don't have to be 50 but you could be 60, you could be 40, you could be any age. So let's hop into it. Tip number one is you want to use higher weight with lower reps. There's a big misconception out there when you're doing strength training that if you don't want to get big and bulky, you shouldn't lift heavy weights. And actually, uh, it's the complete opposite. If you lift lighter to medium weights and you really get that muscle burn, that's the type of exercise that will actually tend to build more muscle tissue. But if this is a concern for you, you don't have to worry because if you're not eating massive amounts of food, you don't have to worry about putting on mass. So keep strength training and focus on higher weight, lower reps with good form. Principle number two is you wanna use full body compound movements. And what a compound movement is, is a exercise that you're using multiple joints. So I might be bending my hips, bending my knees, uh, things like lunges, exercises like squats, these moves are gonna burn more calories, they're gonna work more muscles, and ultimately help you be as fit and healthy as possible. So you wanna incorporate these into your workouts, and look, I do have a video, I'll leave in the card right here, um, that goes over those compound exercises. Principle number three is JLo doesn't drink alcohol or drink any caffeine. And look, alcohol or, or caffeine, you don't have to go all or nothing with these. What I want you to remember is you can have these things in moderation as long as you're not over indulging. So it's important that you find what is sustainable for you. But let's dive into alcohol first. So alcohol, it does have added calories and over a month, over a year, that can lead to a little extra weight gain. And we all know our judgment goes down a little bit when we have alcohol, which can lead to you getting a little bit hungrier, having less sort of willpower or guard up to, to watch uh, you know, over consumption. And as far as like caffeine or coffee goes, think, some of us have three or four or five cups of coffee a day, and if we're putting the cream and sugar in that, that's just more added calories. Now what JLo does is she actually does the decaf. Um, and so we know that she's probably not drinking multiple cups a day to get that caffeine feeling. She might just enjoy the heat, that warm feeling we get from coffee. Uh, so just take these into moderation and find what works for you. Principle number four is she fills her plate with veggies. After reading an article from one of her fitness trainers, they said that she makes sure she has veggies in almost every meal. And we all know the benefits of veggies. One, they're filling, so it does lower your appetite. It will prevent you from eating lots of calorie full foods. But there are so many other benefits to vegetables, including the nutrients, the vitamins that you're gonna get from them, which make you feel better, which make you more vibrant, which makes your skin nice and smooth, uh, which we'll dive into her skin in a little bit. So just try and get a serving or two of vegetables at each meal, and you will be well on your way. Principle number five, it's a little off the, the cuff here, but a lot of you might wonder how she has such nice skin at the age of 50, and so, what I read in there is one, she eats her vegetables, but two, she stays out of the sun a lot, and when she does, she wears a lot of sunscreen. So if you want to keep your skin in good shape, wear sunscreen and try to avoid excessive amounts of sun. Principle number six is her snacking routine. So JLo tends to stay away from more processed snacks. When she's with her kids, she makes sure she has little baggies of veggies and fruits that help fill her up. And if those don't fulfill her cravings, she does keep some type of protein on hand to make sure that those cravings do not make her wanna go grab something real quick that might not meet her goal. So keep some fruits and veggies on hand. 
Principle number seven is protein. So we just talked about when JLo snacks, if those veggies and fruits don't give her the, the filling feeling that she needs, she will go to some source of protein. But in her meals, she's also making sure she gets a lean source of protein, whether that be chicken, whether that be turkey, and it all tends to be organic in her case. Look, I wanna tell you right now that your food doesn't have to be organic. She's got lots of money, and not all of us have the money to, to eat her again. I'm not against it or for it. Are there some benefits? Yes, but what I'm saying is you don't need to eat organic to feel great and feel confident. So eat more protein. Principle number eight is one you all know, it is hydrate. So look, just make sure you drink plenty of water throughout the day. This is gonna help you have more energy. It's gonna help your mind work a little better. And also your performance and your exercise and your workouts is gonna improve, which ultimately will let you lift more weights and feel better, get better results. So what I would recommend for drinking water, a good place to start is 96 ounces or you can take about half your body weight ounces and just drink that each day. I like to get one of those water bottles where you can actually see how much water there is and then it gives you a better idea of where you're at throughout the day, kind of gives you that scoreboard. So work on drinking more water. And finally, principle number nine, we're talking about what does JLo do when she goes out to eat? Well, what she does is she'll often look at the menu before going to the restaurant, or she knows that most restaurants do have lower calorie, high protein, high veggie options. So whether it be a salad or getting some sort of veggies and a protein, that's what you can lean towards and still enjoy an amazing meal that you don't have to cook. Those meals are always the best and still get the nutrition and the fulfilling feeling, right? The fulling feeling, full, full feeling to, to get what you need from your meal. So look, that is principle nine. Those are the nine principles that JLo follows based off of the articles I got linked below talking and interviewing her trainers in those articles. So look, if you like this video, I've got a great workout for you that you can do at home. We're gonna work on the core here. That video is right here. I've got another home workout for you right here. Click that if you wanna get your sweat on. And finally, please hit that subscribe button if you found value in this, I would appreciate it so much. So until next time, small steps, big results.